Morning with meteorologist Savannah Brito. Good morning, everyone, and welcome back. The National Weather Service did issue a wind advisory. This will go in effect at 11 p.m. tonight, Eastern Time, until 9 a.m. Eastern Time, Friday morning. So that is tomorrow morning. This does affect our entire viewing area, and wind gusts up to 60, 65 miles per hour can be expected. So use caution while driving a vehicle overnight and early tomorrow morning, and just bring lighter objects indoors. Definitely be careful out there tonight and tomorrow morning. Temperatures across the valley are colder than this time yesterday by about 20 degrees. 15 to 20 degrees. We're sitting at 44 right now in Terre Haute, 49 in Bloomington, 50 in Olney, and then 41 degrees in Paris. Here's the system now. So it did make it on land in the United States and some of the deep south and the, uh, the states down here. This will make it here. There is already tornado watches for areas south of here and an enhanced risk just south of our viewing area. I'll talk more about the severe thunderstorms and what we could see just in a bit, though. But you can see just south of here and areas west of here are bringing rain showers in. We will be dry early this morning, but then that does change this afternoon. So this is about 1 to 2 p.m. Some rain moves in. Nothing will be heavier. We get, will get the heavier rain later in the overnight hours. Mainly this evening into overnight hours. Then by about 1 a.m., most of it starts to kind of move northeast of our area. And then by Friday at 5 a.m., we are going to be seeing mostly cloudy skies, but most of the rain should be out at that time. Can't rule out a sprinkle overnight and early tomorrow morning, but most of the heavier rain will be at, gone after that time. And then as we get into Saturday, warm temperatures, and then we will be mostly sunny early in the morning, but then we will have another system that will make it here that will bring us some rain on Saturday evening into the overnight hours of into Sunday morning. Rainfall totals, though, from this system through 4 p.m. on Thursday, not a whole lot, about three-tenths of an inch in Washington and Bloomington. The rest of our area north of Terre Haute, we're just going to be dealing with a couple sprinkles. We'll tack on more rain, though, so in the purples and rains, that's purples and reds, that's the heaviest rainfall. And then in the greens, that's the lightest. We might see a little bit more than what they're calling for here, though. Winds are not going to be issued during the day today that much. They'll pick up about 15 miles per hour, 20 at the most during the day. But then the overnight hours, that's when they'll really pick up. We'll start to see that. That's why the National Weather Service did issue that advisory. So we didn't get upgraded across the Wabash Valley. Vigo County and then south of here is still under a marginal risk. That's one out of five by the Storm Prediction Center's risk categories. And then just south of here is under our southeastern portion of the viewing areas under slight risk. So areas in the green, isolated severe storms are possible. Areas in the yellows, then scattered severe storms are possible. They did upgrade this, so areas in the pink, that's a five out of five. So they are going to see violent log tracked lib tornadoes are possible and likely in that area. Even in the areas of the red, that's four out of five. So they did upgrade those two areas later last night. So just be careful out there if you do encounter any severe weather, if, especially if you're driving south of here. And then the next chance for rain after that will come as we get into Saturday night, early Sunday morning. 63, though, is the high for today. So those rain chances and storms will occur later today. 45, though, is the overnight low. Rain showers will end overnight into early Friday morning. 60 tomorrow, but 74 on Saturday, Nicole.